Welcome back to our message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope today's message will help heal and serve you. We are pulling from the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards by Anna Stark. Let's dive right in. Let's find out what our message is for today from our guides. So I'm doing, of course, the three card spread, as you can see here. So our first card is Ascended Masters, Create Open Communication. Second card here, the energy signature, the past is in the present. And our last card here, lead the way, light your own path. So let's take a deep breath in, as I always recommend. And then as you exhale, we're going to become open and clear to hear about our message for today. Okay, so let's dive right here over on the left. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, try to get them a little bit more centered here. That's good enough. Let's go to the Ascended Masters. So this is kind of where we're coming from. So right now, you are required to connect to a higher wisdom previously shared with a collective purpose. So it's really saying that daily rituals and routines are essential to establishing um, a stable thought making process. So you're going to, they really suggest that you get into meditation, breath work, or something like that to establish that routine. Many masters are associated with animals and symbols and pay attention to art and imagery. You may feel emotionally or strongly connected to now and be consciously aware. The masters are working behind the scenes in your life. So you are being supported. So really, if you have been working, doing your meditations, trying to, you know, connect, pull your cards, whatever your spiritual practice is, the Ascended Masters are behind you and supporting you with that. And through doing that, we're developing our energy signature. Now, what's really interesting with both the energy signature and leading the way, both of those cards start with the exact same sentence. Understand that everything is energy. The air we breathe, the elements, emotions, sounds, animal, people, our thoughts. All of this is energy. I'll read that again. So this is the first sentence for both of these messages. Understanding that everything is energy, the air we breathe, the elements, emotions, sounds, animal, people, or thoughts. All of this is energy. So when we're going to our energy signature. Uh, right now, you must use your sensory and intuitive intelligence for answers. You have experienced this type of energy before, but you must ask, what is it? And when recognized, you can adapt and modify your behavior and actions accordingly to avoid necessary arguments, tension, and toxic situations in your social work or family environments. When practiced, reading the energy signatures of your environment become a built-in intuitive warning symbol prior to an issue occurring. You have the possibility of avoiding explosive exchanges, accidents, conflicts, or confrontation as it becomes in line with your flight or fight or confrontation as it becomes in line with your fight or flight response, creating self-awareness and energetic resilience. So we're doing the daily practice. We're creating our open connect connection with those higher realms. So now we're able to develop that energy signature so we can read the energy better. We can see what we need to do. We intuitively know more. So we might be seeing things very similar to what we've seen before repeating, but now we're going to notice some more than we did before because we've been doing that hard work. And where it's going to lead us, again, understanding that everything is energy, the air we breathe, the elements, emotions, sounds, animal, people, and our thoughts are all energy. We lead the way. And this one is saying that you have discovered or reignited a passion. So maybe you're using some crystals, which I really have got some new ones recently, gemstones, hiking or nature. And these energies are helping you to, to open up. So, but what you need is to see the beauty in life. Simplicity of nature and the divine elegance will encourage you to reset your mind in the present moment. All energy is recycled. Know that now you are changing your attitude in life. Soon to emerge from the deep slumbers of transformation, surround yourself with living energy such as plants, crystals, minerals to support your light body through this powerful transmission. So, kind of summarizing this up. We've been doing that hard work, getting into our spiritual practice. We've got the Ascended Masters helping us. They're behind the scenes doing what they need to support us. We're now developing our ability to read the energies, to recognize the things that 
we've seen before and notice. So we can't, so really what, what starts to happen is you start, start to notice that, you know, have I felt this before? You're reading the, you must shine a light and a spotlight on all the senses and remove the mask to expose the energies being hidden. So this is really where we're going to expose those hidden energies because we've been doing that hard work. We're being supported. We're now getting into this energy so we can start to see the things that maybe we weren't able to see. And from that, we're going to lead the way. We're going to lead the way into connecting, into lighting our own path. And we can use certain things to assist us, which can be crystals. It might be gemstones, could be walking, hiking, and nature, a connection to nature. But really, we are to surround ourselves with living nature so we can be part of that and keep creating in that way. And we are going to lead the way as we change. So that's our message for today. The guides are behind you. Keep doing that spiritual work, whatever your spiritual practice is. And start to become aware. Recognize when you're feeling certain energies. You're going to start to see the repetition. And it's going to also open you so you can't fall for the lies. Because when you are in that energy signature and you are matching and you're doing that spiritual work, it's really hard to fall for any lies because you're going to recognize them as soon as you see them. I know this. Like, you feel it in your gut. If you're doing that hard work, you, it's hard to be deceived. It is very difficult to be deceived because you are actually open to feeling the feeling, the feeling, the feels. And I know there's a lot of people that come down the spiritual journey that have been deceived. And their deception, they weren't doing, unfortunately, you were not doing the hard work. Not enough. And there, or you were ignoring the energy. You didn't want to believe what your intuition was telling you. You wanted to believe something outside of your spiritual practice and believe that, you know, something outside of spirit, your self willpower soul is going to save you and believing that it's something man-made that that's a lie. We know this. You can feel it in your gut. And if you didn't go with your gut, well, that was your own doing because you did know. And then here with our energy signature, we are now aware and you really need to become aware of that. And because of that, because everything is energy and you've got your energy signature in a line, you're becoming the beacon of truth. People don't like people that reflect the truth back to them. <laughs> so you might find yourself very unpopular, but you're going to be the leader of the way you're going to lead because everything is energy. And when they see that you don't fall for those lies, you're able to see the truth and you're able to work through it, you will light your own path and others will see it and follow as well. So that's really what our message is. Keep doing the work. You're being supported. Get into that energy. Trust your instincts because you've been doing that work. Don't fall for it. If it doesn't feel right, don't fall for it. You know, and then you will become that leader and lead the way and be the energy for everyone else to follow. I hope this message helps, heals, and serves. As always, until tomorrow, namaste.